Okay, here we are inside the new 312 VBH Sport Trek Touring Edition. Layout is everything in the right camper. And I just want to point out a couple things out that are pretty unique to the Sport Trek Touring Editions. Uh, one is this fabulous bedroom. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, we added the windshield and on most of our floor plans you have a window so you can see it up here. But what I like about this layout is you have the double door entry with the cabinets flanking both sides. It's almost like a triumphant archway, you know, and you can see that great view, that great bedroom from everywhere in the trailer. Um, but let's go in here and take a closer look. One of the things people really love about the Sport Trek Touring Edition are the bed slides, and in particular the fact that all of our floor plans, except for one, have a king bed slide, and this is a king bed slide. It's not something you see typically in travel trailers, usually reserved for motorhomes and fifth wheels. Okay, so very nice. Plus, with the addition of the window, you have a, a great window seat. You know, it's comfortable, it's a place to put your shoes on, uh, you know, lay your clothes out for the next morning, whatever. And it's really set up pretty nice. Every Touring Edition comes with a uh, fireplace in the bedroom. It's got a 5500 BTU heater in it, so uh, it's not just for date night. Okay? It actually will take the chill off and warm you up pretty good if you don't want to turn your propane on. Right? And look at the ambiance in here. Dave, let's flip a couple of these lights off. The blue, the blue accent lights can serve as a night light, or if you're watching TV, you don't want bright lights on. Uh, but it's really, really kind of nice. It kind of sets the mood, you know. Very, very homey, very comfortable. <clears throat> you don't see a bedroom like this in most travel trailers. All right. So that's one of the special things about all of our touring editions. We have great master bedrooms. And in a bunkhouse especially, mom and dad usually get the bedroom behind a little entertainment TV with an aisle down both sides, and the kids get the cool bedroom. All right. So this is for mom and dad. Okay, moving out of the bedroom into the living area here, uh, a lot of nice features here too. You've got a pantry on one side with storage above, see that? And a coat closet or broom closet or a place to put a trash can on this side, coat hooks, and your control panels up top. All right. um, dinette is standard, a table and chairs are available, but look what we did here. You reach inside, and you've got these nice, big, long bins, which are a great idea. It's better than a drawer. You can take these in the house and load them up when you're getting ready to go. Bring them out, slide them right in. Or if it's, uh, you know, if, if uh, you can put all your stuff to make s'mores and uh, your hot dog forks in there, when it's time to cook around the campfire, you take the whole thing out. There's one on this side as well. Um, kitchen, we've got stainless steel appliances. A stainless steel double bowl sink, nice and deep, a pull-out sprayer faucet, solid surface countertops with the solid surface sink cover to create more counter space. Um, there's a glass cover on the uh, stove top, so you also create more counter space there as well, not to mention it's a nice splash guard when you're, when you're cooking. All right, moving to the back of the 312 VBH. Uh, we've got a trifold sofa, folds out, uh, two adults can sleep on it, uh, right across from the entertainment center. Uh, it's nice to have your main seating area right in front of the TV so you're not always turning your head to, to watch TV uh, if, you're, if you have to be in, indoors. Um, it comes also with a fireplace in the living area, not just the bedroom, but living area as well. All right. Uh, lots of storage out here. We open these up, I know you can't see it from there, but this is about 30 inches deep. All right very deep storage and it's all wide open and not only does the TV pull out and swivel but you have the same depth storage in behind the TV lots and lots of storage double bunks double over double bunks um, and this has a nice added feature we've opened up the bottom here to have easy access for storage or you know maybe you have pets the, the dog crate can go underneath there or you see so many of these layouts where it'll sleep eight or ten people, but there's no place to store anything. Duffel bags, suitcases, whatever go in there. And guess what? If you want to put something a little bit bigger in there, a little taller, this flips right up out of the way. So it's all 
full access, whatever you want to put back there. Easy, easy. All right, we've changed position a little bit here because we want to show you the bathroom. All right? Bathrooms and travel trailers aren't necessarily known for being the biggest, but in this case, we've made it about as efficient as we can make it. You have a nice corner vanity here with a cabinet below, a good counter space, and a vanity mirror above. All right? um, and what we've done is we've utilized a, a Nautilus shower screen. All right? It pulls out and locks into place. You find these in the marine industry, and it's great when you don't want a shower curtain that's going to stick to you when you're taking a shower, but you don't have room for a bypass door or a door that swings out into the room. All right? So that just rolls back up, squeegees off, and uh, when you're ready to use it, it just slides, slides across. Because what it does is it gives you more room in the bathroom. If this were a glass wall or a, a door here, this bathroom would just be way too small. Right? But it's a way to utilize the space more efficiently. You get a bigger shower, you get more room where you need it without sacrificing the size of the shower and whatnot. Okay, from here I want to talk about a couple of things that we do different at Venture RV. Um, one is the way we build our product. Uh, we are one of the few manufacturers that actually give you a plywood floor for the deck uh, with laminated sidewalls. If you get the aluminum sided trailers, you know, usually get a wood, either OSB or a plywood floor. <clears throat> Nine out of ten manufacturers, it seems, uh, when they laminate their sidewalls, they also laminate their floor. Now, the center of this wall is aluminum, and, uh, aluminum uh, per uh, perimeter frame and structure, but in between all that is expanded polystyrene insulation, which is styrofoam. Right? When you stand styrofoam up, it's fantastic. It's lightweight. It's very structural. does a great job. There's no pressure on the styrofoam. Styrofoam should never be used in a load-bearing manner because what happens when you put weight on styrofoam over time it compresses and that can happen in travel trailer floors or fifth wheel floors as well. The problem is there's no way to really fix that once it's happened so when you go to trade your camper in that you and your family have used for six or eight years and the dealer looks at it and goes you know it looks brand new, you did a great job taking care of it, but you got soft spots in your floor and unfortunately I can't fix that, so I can't give you as much for your trade. All, right? all that goes away with plywood floors. Plywood floors, these are 5 8 tongue and groove plywood, they sit on top of wooden floor joists, 2 by 3s they're 16 inches on center, it's literally more like residential construction than it is uh, a styrofoam floor in a travel trailer. <clears throat> the benefit of that is you're never going to have soft spots, it's never going to wear out, if something catastrophic happens, it's repairable. All right? um, so long term, it's going to be a better value and it's going, to, it's going to perform better for you. Not to mention the fact that anything on top of it, the more stable your foundation is, the more stable everything else is on top of it. So you don't get as much moving and shaking as you're going down the road, which we all know when those connections start moving and shaking, it creates opportunities for seal gaps and, you know, we don't, we don't want that because we know what, lead, what that, that can lead to. All right. Another thing that's neat about the way we build these is <coughs> we use six foot slide outs which is typical in fifth wheels, not so much in travel trailers, but it definitely adds to your living space. Um, standard height on a travel trailer sidewall is about 78 inches. These are 82 inches all the way across. And it has gotten fashionable to do a radius ceiling on the inside of a travel trailer. Um, so it'll be 80 or 82 inches in the middle, but your sidewalls are still going to be about 78 inches. Now, a 78 inch sidewall with a slide system is going to hit me right about the earlobe. Um, the bottom of the slide out. So I'm six, almost I'm six one, almost six one. So you know when I stand up, I'm a lot more likely to crack my crack my skull on that. Um, plus, what does it do for the size of windows? Okay, in a six foot slide out, I can have bigger windows. I have more light, more ventilation. I can have storage in my in my slide outs. Right? These are all things that often get overlooked if you have smaller slide outs. So I call these lifestyle issues because you don't know <clears throat> how good or bad it is until you've lived with it a while. You know, about the third time you stand up uh, from your trifold sofa and crack your head on the slide out, you, know, you start to get a little irritated with it, but never had that problem with uh, a Venture Touring Edition. Well, that's the 312 VBH, our newest addition to the Sport Trek Touring Edition. Let's sum it up just a little bit. Uh, if you recall, we're about a 31 foot box, uh, 7,300 pound towing capacity. You can sleep up to 10 people in here if you want to. 
Um, so uh, a lot of features, a lot of, a lot of nice uh, amenities uh, for the size and, and what you get. One of the best, if not the best, bedroom in the entire industry. Um, for more information on the 312 VBH or to see our other great floor plans, be sure to visit our website at venture-rv.com or check in with your local Venture RV dealer. Thanks for your time today.